Welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to execute C++ programs on Visual Studio Code. So without wasting time, let's get started. If you don't have Visual Studio Code installed, install from the link in the description. So if you are running on Windows, download these installers and for Linux, go for this and for Mac, go for this installer. And then after installing the Visual Studio Code, head out to the, to the link in the description and open the file section over here in the SourceForge website. And now get down and install this online installer. Wait for the 5 seconds to initiate the download. And after downloading, open that installer. And click on yes and hit on next and wait for it to fetch the information and then leave it default and click on next and choose your destination folder or else where to install the application and I'm choosing my folder okay let me make a new folder I am renaming it as MinGW and hit on OK and click on Next and wait for it to download the files and install it for you. Ok now it's done. Now hit on Next and click on Finish to complete the installation. After that, open up your PC and head out to the folder where you have installed that application. Now I have installed the program files x86 and in the mingw folder. Now open it up and head out to mingw32 folder and go to the bin folder and now copy the URL from the address bar. Right click and hit on copy and now hit on your windows button on your computer and type environment e -N -V -I. so here the environment variables edit the environment variables click on this thing and click on environment variables and click on path and hit on edit button over here now hit on new and paste your mingw folder I have already pasted so you, I no need to paste it again but if you don't have listed here just paste this up and now hit on ok and hit on ok and hit on ok now close this thing and open vs code in your computer so this is the code I have already written so this is the factorial code so to compile it open up the terminal by using control and backtick so press and hold control and backtick so that will open up the integrated terminal so here i'm using the git bash terminal but the cmd terminal always works here so to compile it press g++ so g++ is for c++ files so if you are using programs type GCC okay so as I am using the G++ files so let me use with G++ compiler and then write the program name so the program name is factory underscore with underscore functions dot cpp sorry cpp so type this up and that and hit on enter and that will compile your code so after compiling to run 
press dot slash a dot exe and hit on enter and that will run your compiled code so here I have to enter a number to find the factorial so I am entering 5 and the answer is 120 so to make it so to so to go more deep I am giving a object file for the compilation output so in order to execute with dot slash a dot txe I want to execute with something like factorial okay so to do that don't plus plus hyphen o to give it a name and the name for the output file is factorial and the code is located at factorial underscore with function dot cpp and hit on enter and that will generate your output file for the desired name so instead of hitting dot slash a dot exe and now hit dot slash factorial dot exe and hit on enter and that will generate the output for the specified file now hit on a number and that will get you the output and that's it for the video guys i know it's a bit complicated but the more you use the more you get familiar with this thing it's far better than the dev c++ or turbo c or code blocks or any other compilers out there and you can go with the visual studio code which is very famous for the developers out there so i hope you enjoyed with this video and if you do like this video please do hit like and subscribe to my channel if you have any doubts please mention in the comment section down below i will surely help you out see you later bye bye